Hey guys, it's Brendan the Paleo Dude. In this video, we will be comparing the Mattel Mini Action Dino lineup with the Captives lineup from Toy Monster. So, there's a difference in price between these figures here in Canada. The Mini Action Dinos are around five to six dollars, whereas the Captives are around eight to nine after tax. Um, so they're a bit more expensive, though you do get an egg and slime, um, which does account for at least half, so these are actually a better price than the mini action dinos. Um, these guys though have action features like moving tails, heads, and mouth parts, where the captives do not have that, but rather have a pop and lock system to put them together and even interchange their parts so you can make your own hybrid dinosaurs um, which the the mini action dinos do not have so each one has a gimmick um, these guys the captives also have a little system um, let me just find I've got a bag of all the tokens so basically you can use them in a little game, so they have these tokens with different ratings, and um, you, you play with someone else where you both have two different dinosaurs face off against each other, and whoever has the higher amount of um, aggression or intelligent wins against other dinosaur, and if you have two of the same dinosaur you can like double how many points they have, which is pretty cool. So they have a game associated with them. Again, making the uh, captives dinosaurs figures more interesting, more interactive than the mini blind bag ones from Mattel. So now let's get into comparing them for details. The captives dinosaurs have a lot more colors applied to them than the uh, the Mattel ones. So the Mattel ones just have about two or three, where the captives have. Um, Four at times, so you can see they even have um, washes on the bodies to make the colors stand out more. So you can see this one has a, a lighter wash. Their poses are a bit more accurate, and uh, the details pop out thanks to the color wash on the entire body. Each of the horns on every dinosaur is painted. And even the fingernails and the toenails are painted on these dinosaurs in comparison to the uh, mini action dinos. So let's start with Stegosaurus. We can see the plates on the back of this guy have a more movie accurate color and pattern than these solid dark green ones. And the spikes on the end of the tail are also colored. Um, this one's head is really large, um, makes it look a bit like a baby stegosaurus, and this one does have like a running position, so it's it's very dynamic, whereas this one's just standing, but the head is a lot more accurate on the Mattel figure. For the Stygimolic, um, there's a lot more detail on the head when it comes to painting. They've got every horn painted, the beak is even painted, and the inside of the mouth. Um, and this one just has a color streak down the back, whereas this one has its underbelly painted, and the entirety up to the tail has that wash and the underside painting, whereas this one does not. Next we have the Pteranodons. Um, I use the one from the Walmart exclusive bag as it has a similar color scheme. But as you can see, um, the Captives one has more paint application to it, whereas this one just had an airbrush to the tips of the wings. The inside of the Captives mouth is painted. Um, even the veins have some painting on them to make them stand out. I'll try and zoom in on that. Like this wash coloration. I also have to mention both of them have the Jurassic World logos, though this one has it in silver to make it stand out more. Next we have the Tyrannosaurus Rex. So you can see on the head, 
It's got a lot more detail in comparison to the Mattel figure. Of course, the teeth are painted and the inside of the mouth are painted. Uh, the eyes actually have a lot of detail on them, not just a black dot. Even the tiny little fingernails are painted on the captive's one. And there's a wash highlighting the ribs and muscles on its body. And it's in a more dramatic pose. Okay, so next we have the Indoraptor. Holy cow, this one's a lot better. Oh, I'm using the wrong Indoraptor in comparison. There we go. So, the head sculpt. There's a lot more detail packed into it. Of course, it's got a painted tongue and teeth. Um, its scales have this lighter wash um, to make them stand out a lot more. Though the line on the back or the sides is just a zigzag, whereas this one's a lot more scattered and random. Um, its arms, it's doing a lot more with those. They're a lot more realistically proportioned, I guess. They're not as chunky. And, uh, whoops, drop that. And it looks like something taken straight out of the movie, whereas this one looks more like a toy. Um, this one is missing the quills on the back of the body. Yeah, they're not sculpted in there, um, whereas this one kinda has them raised up a bit more. But the colors on this guy are not as realistic. Um, next we have the Triceratops. You can see the whole body's got this dark wash making the scales and the ribs and all of those um, frill scales stand out more. And each of the horns on the frill is painted, whereas the Mattel one is not. Even the toenails, again, are painted. The underbelly has a lighter wash. Um, this one does not. <laughs> Everything else about them is pretty similar. They're the same size, same head size, and um, about the same detail on the head. Just this one has a wash to make its details stand out. Um, we got the two baryonics. Um, obviously, paint job's a lot better on this guy has more details. Um, this one's just the solid color plastic one from the um, Walmart exclusive bag, so we're just not going to go over it too much. But this one's pretty phenomenal. It has a zigzag white line that makes the... Uh... And the head has a lot more detail in it with the teeth and the jaws. The gums are painted, the tongue's painted, each individual teeth is painted, there's no bleeding going on. And this is a small figure. If you look at some of Mattel's dinosaurs, there's bleeding on the teeth. And these tiny little dinosaurs, no bleeding whatsoever. I love the eye color too. Um, something you don't really see on the Mattel minis. They just have black eyes. Um, and all the way to the tip of the tail, there is coloration. And again, tiny little paint specks on the toes. This is one of the figures that doesn't have painted fingernails, but if you look at even the Brachiosaurus, whoops, you can see there is painted toenails. Super cool. So let's put these guys next to each other. What's next? Let's do Velociraptor Blue. Um, so the bottom side of blue on the Mattel figure is painted, and the bottom of the uh, Captives one is not. But you can see the finger and toenails are painted, where this one is not. Um, more dramatic pose on this figure. The eyes are painted a different color, not just black. They don't have a pupil though, but the teeth and the gums are also painted, even the tongue. Um, and then, yeah, the blue line on the back's typical. Not really anything else. I know the newer blue in the uh, Camp Cretaceous Captive's Eggs has a lot more detail than just this one. Next we have the Sinoceratops, and I'll be comparing it to the Pachyrhinosaurus. So Pachyrhinosaurus has a uh, very sad coloration on the frill, nothing there, and this light uh, yellowy green wash on the back. Uh, the Sinoceratops has each of its horns individually painted. Um, Pachyrhinosaurus actually also has that. Each one of these little 
horns has a little paint speck on it. That's really cool. They actually did something. But the beak is not painted, whereas the Pachyronosaurus top beak, and I think the lower beak's, no, just the top beak's painted. Tongue's painted, eye, there's a lot more um, frill painting. You can see it. they colored that kind of depression part in, whereas the depressions on here are not. Um, and then each of the toenails are painted on the Sino and not the Pachyrhino. Uh, next we have the Moza. No paint job. And, well, wait a minute. Maybe a darker paint job on the top. Just some light brushing. Now this one is a uh, lighter coloration. Kind of aqua color. Um, and this like bluey purple, sky blue light color um, lathered on to get all those scale details in. Um, detail on this one. A lot more finer details. Um, they packed a lot more smaller scales in. I do like this one though as it, it's reminiscent of the Mattel larger scale Moza with those individual scales. Whereas this one has really tiny dots and then the scale pattern kind of is crocodile like at the front here. The eye is painted, the inside of the mouth, and the teeth are painted. There's no bleeding with the teeth at all. Maybe a little bit there. So it's not that bad. And the proportions are really accurate. I love that. And now for the Brachiosaurus, we've got a light brownie color brushed onto the back. And then this one's got a gray color brushed onto the back. And uh, toenails are painted, no toenail paint. The eye is yellow on the captive's one. The heads are about the same size. Uh, this one's neck is bent and it's raised its leg. And this one's just in a stationary position. It's a lot taller because its neck is not bent. These could actually go pretty well together in a herd photo. Gives me an idea. Okay, so overall I'd say the captive's line is way more uh, detailed, a lot better paint job, and it has cool gimmicks that make for a better toy line. Um, sure, the Mattel figures have a cool little uh, action feature, but besides that, they are pretty um, bland when it comes to their paint jobs and their positioning. Um, you can already see comparing them side by side. Like, look at these two. A lot more detail, a lot more paint app, um, and they spent the time and effort making it uh, look pretty detailed. And another thing is the price. Sure, these guys are a tad bit more expensive, but they come with an egg, they come with some slime to play with, and they come with a uh, game that you can use them in, which is really neat. Um, so I'd give the captives, if I were rating them out of 10, the captives would be like a 9 out of 10, and the Mattel Action Dinos would probably be a 5 or a 4 out of 10. So definitely um, invest in this new lineup. It's 100% worth it. Hopefully it comes out in the States. You guys do have the, um, the Camp Cretaceous ones if you live down there, which are really cool. They've got an updated blue. Uh, Baryonyx Grimm, and all sorts of glow-in-the-dark exclusives. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this comparison video. It was definitely fun to make. Um, if you did, I'd appreciate a like. Um, and if you want to see more content like this, check out my channel and consider subscribing. I'll see you guys in the next video then. Bye-bye.